I'm Brooke Haves with NBC 26. The Wisconsin State Assembly will take up the mask mandate today following the state Senate's decision to strike it down on Tuesday. The Senate voted 18 to 13 with two Republicans siding with Democrats to keep the mandate. The Republican-led Assembly will take up the issue this morning. Some members say they believe the mandate will be struck down in the GOP-led Assembly. If it is, local orders could remain in effect. Another vote happening today is drawing a lot of controversy over one group set to be next on the vaccine list. Under Phase 1B of Wisconsin's vaccine rollout plan, inmates would be able to get their shot in March. But a proposed amendment to a legislative bill would put them at the end of the line. The amendment states those behind bars under the age of 60 should not qualify for the COVID-19 vaccine until 21 days after it's available to the public. This is going to take a little getting used to. New American Family Field signs are now up outside the Brewers Ballpark. They replaced the old Miller Park logos yesterday. After 20 years, the change might not be easy for fans, but the new naming rights money could help keep the team competitive. It's unclear what's next for the Miller Park signs, but Pewaukee native former Wisconsin Badger and NFL star J.J. Watt is interested in buying them. He tweeted out, how much for the signs? And Miller Lite responded, quote, two tickets and you know which game. It'll be kind of a cold one today. We've seen colder January days, though, that wind chill as we head towards like uh, the afternoon hours, right around 10. And the actual 20, uh, high temperature today going to be 20. That's all we get. That's five degrees below average. As far as tonight, still cool in six. Tomorrow the wind picks up in 27.